Robert and Winnie Kinnison are spending this Valentine's Day celebrating their diamond anniversary. This is when we were at Next. state police party. They met in West Frankfort in 1953. At the time, Robert's father was a pharmacist at the drugstore where Winnie worked. And that's how the whole thing started. We'd take his dad home and then he'd take me home. But the two can't agree on who made the first move. Oh, it had to be him. She did. I remember because I was driving the car and she said, ooh, I'm going to sit by my honey. And she did moved I, over close. Did yes. I say that? Yes. <laughs> Robert says he knew right away he wanted to marry Winnie. He proposed in 1954 after only four months of dating. But there was a slight problem. Robert was 22 and Winnie was 17. And we lied. And I was supposed to be 18. And on my marriage license, I'm a year older than I really am. <laughs> they snuck off to Perry County Courthouse so nobody would find out. And they said it wouldn't last. But it was a feathery start living on the family farm. We remodeled a chicken house. They were there six months before moving to Carbondale. Robert served as a state police officer for 27 years when he worked from home as a beautician. Marriages are not made in heaven. Something you got to work at, and mm, that's right. It's 50 50. They are now retired with three kids, two grandchildren, and two great grandchildren. Winnie says they're just as happy now as they were 60 years ago. I can't imagine living without him. Sometimes you still get patted on the <laughs> derriere. <laughs>